Okay, friends, so I have a new watercolor journal that I have been working in. And I'm kind of trying my hand at doing some sample colors of what I have available to me. And I thought we might learn today. So I've challenged my Creative Connection group to practice. Just practice, practice, practice. Um, it didn't matter what it is, just practice anything. And so I decided this month I was going to practice something that has been really intimidating, and that is watercolor. So tonight, let's just practice together. I have a different tripod set up. You can see it right here in the camera. I'm going to flip the camera. I'm going to move it over here, and we're going to do an overhead cam. Um, I've got my watercolors. I've got my guy right here. Hello. And hello, Lisa Dixon. How are you? So I took this um, journal with me to the beach. Hi, Karen. How are you? I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, we're just going to wrap up our Sunday together. And I took this with me to the beach, and I sat outside one night and just kind of started creating all these different colors with a very, very basic watercolor set. Um, as you can see, all of these colors came from a very basic set. Since then, I've ordered a new one, um, some new colors, and um, I thought we might do some flowers today. So if you'd like to stick around, um, I am going to show you the watercolors. I'm gonna put the camera over here. So we're gonna have an overhead cam. Uh, so you guys can just look straight down at what I'm doing. Um, I did my first sunflowers the other day, watercolor, Matthew. What, now, if you had to judge this, one to 10, what would you give me? Very first time, honey. Very first. 12. You'd give me a 12? First time? Let's oh, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. But let's see what we can do tonight. Hello, everybody. I'm so thrilled you're here. Michelle says that's a 10. Thank you, my darling. So I am using paints. These are beam paints. So what I love about them is they're 100% natural. Um, there's nothing harmful in here. There's literally three ingredients in their watercolors. They're extremely pigmented also. Um, and they have this little birch round piece. And that's their palette. Isn't that the cutest thing? I love this. So what I found out is there they are truly highly pigmented. And then they use little pieces of wood and that's what they pour their paints into. So I'm loving that these are all natural. Um, what I was using before were these paints that I got at Monet's Garden. It's just the little, this little tri set. And I love that these come together like this and then come apart. But after I've used these, I've been a little bit spoiled. So, so you're saying it was worth the money? These were extra expensive. But I found them so far, they're worth the money. They're much more high, they're much more pigmented than this little set here. Um, but I've been fascinated with water, watercolor all summer and I've been putting it off because I've been super intimidated. Um, I'm worried that I just won't pick it up naturally. Uh, they're called Beam, B E A M. You can follow them on Instagram. Um, three ingredients in their watercolors. They're all natural pigments um, and they keep things really, really simple, but they, they are higher. Okay. So I'm going to move my camera. I have no plan and I'm just going to practice. I challenged my group to practice in August at anything, just practice something. And I, for one, I'm going to work on watercolors. So I am going to see, oh no, you know what? I can't flip the camera. Let's see if we can figure this out. Let's see if we can figure this out. Bear with me. Uh oh, honey. I thought I had a plan and now it's not gonna work. You can't what? Bear with me. Oh, well, for one thing. Turn it, turn it, turn this. Down. Hold on guys, I'm sorry. I didn't want to set up. Okay, so put this in this. It has to go this way because I can't flip the camera. You can't just go like this? No, it'll be the ceiling. It has to be this. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold tight. Sorry. Hold on. I keep lagging. I'll be back. Oh, T, I'm so sorry. Hey, Laura, how are you? All right. So hopefully you guys can see here. Can y'all see? Uh -huh. I don't know what you're saying. It's upside down. It's upside down? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you just... Okay. Now, the fl yeah, the flower is upside down. Okay. Better? That's, I don't know. Let's see if we fixed it. I thought I'd give you a better view. Is this right? 
Yes, there you Did go. Did we get nice it? Nice job. Oh, I'm a the professional. Look at you, Woo. bigly. Now, do I need to raise it up higher? Do you see end to end of my book? Um, no. Leave it? No, I cannot see end to end from your book. Oh, well then I need to raise it just a smidgen. I'll be more prepared next time. I just, I'm not really inspired to work on the piece of furniture. I really just wanted to work with, um, Okay, Matt, I don't know what you've done. Yeah, you, you did a good job. Just raise it up. I'm trying. Just keep going. Oh, I... There you go. There you go. Look at you right there. Okay, okay. All right. I don't want to make people sick, you know? Okay, so I'm going to use my round brush from my Pro Collection. This is from the Iris Pro Collection, and this is just a round. And I have no plan, but I am going to wet my paint. Hello, Tanette. I'm going to wet my paints. Tanette's in the house. Tanette's in the house. So this was one I did on a live with um, Christy. Oh, gosh. What's her name? Mary Miller has been, she's been practicing this on finger painting, but uh, she did watercolor years ago. Well, I've always been intimidated by watercolor. It feels very intimidating, and I really have no idea why. Like it doesn't make a lot of sense. These are just some colors that I put together using this palette that I bought at Monet's Garden a few years ago. And so I'm going to put those aside and I'm going to get busy working with the beam paints because now that I've used those, I have found... Tenny would like to know where you found that book. Um, this is uh, one of my resources, one of my wholesale resources that I have um, for my own journals. So I, I sell the smaller ones, but I bought myself a really big one. Tanette, it says Bean, B-E-A-N. Bean. No, M. M. Beam. Beam, B-E-A-M. That's Beam. the brand. Follow them on Instagram. But like I said, they're highly pigmented and they're all natural. And they are very worth, they're worth the cost because they are much higher than some that I have seen. I've, I've got I've got a very interesting question. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna start painting because I don't want to bore anybody's. Yeah, mind. no, you get after. It. Yeah, you have fun. Okay, thank you. How? Okay, so when you're doing watercolor, and I may not know the answer, kiddo. Okay, but I'm just throwing it out there because I don't know. Okay. When you're watercolor, right, and mm -hmm. you're mixing colors, mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't that mess with the original color? Like, for example, you have a blue, black, yellow, green, right? Solid color, green colors, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So when you start mixing the colors, say yellow and green, mm -hmm. does that not kind of mess with the original colors? Does that make sense? Not really. Cheryl, yes, they do. They come in. Uh, they, they, saw, they saw the tree, made... Uh, little i don't know oh the birch tree yeah birch. the birch tree rounds this is their palette that they come in so this is literally a little piece of the birch tree you can see the back side and this is what they use for their palettes they also have the wooden cases that i bought a different collection with the pastels um and then they they also use these are little pieces of wood and these are what they use as their wells for the paint so they're you know once you use it you can reuse it again um they prefer all sustainable type things like this on all natural. Um, and because, you know, you know, I'm a lover of those types of things. Being a lover of DIY paint, I just thought, well, this just feels right. And I want to give this a shot. I have no plan. I'm not even trying to make this look like anything, except I'm really trying to figure out how these colors work together. So Pam Dudley said, the more water you add to it will flow and blend into the other color. And I I'm love actually, that. You know I'm a blender, baby. Like, yeah, but I'm actually love. referring to... Do you mean here in the well? Yes. Oh, well, I don't know, babe. I'm not worried about that. You know how I am. Okay, I'm just I make, I'm one of those double dippers who mixes... I mean, I take a brush with one color and mix it into the other jar because I, I just... I don't care, you know? So I can see why that would be a question that you would ask. But for me, it's kind of like, oh, I don't know. Let's see what it does. <laughs> Let's... Let's mix all the greens and see what we get. But I, I understand what you're saying. You can clean it off though, like your palette. So so basically just dipping it in water, correct? Yeah. Yeah. 
But I'm learning. I'm just practicing. I really oh, Desiree. don't know much about this at all. But I didn't feel like doing furniture tonight. We just, um, all the kids were here. Matt made a big dinner, um, breakfast for dinner. And we had all four kids here, or our two and our two bonus girls. And uh, anyway, it was a great night. I wasn't sure if we were going to get to come on because, of course, I didn't want to rush anybody. So I'm just kind of playing around. This is, again, this is my Iris Pro on my website. This is an eight round. What you doing over there making noise? Playing. Um, Tammy Schrader, how often do you clean your brush when painting? With the watercolors? I'm just kind of dipping every few colors. Since I'm working with green, I'll be honest with you, I'm not too worried right now about it. But if, if any point someone would like to give me tips, I would take them because I'm really new to this. And right now I'm just kind of trying to create kind of a background. These colors are so highly pigmented. So Tammy would like to know, how, how did you learn about watercolors? Well, a lot of the ladies in my Creative Connection group like to watercolor, and I've always been intimidated by it. And I admire people like Christy, Christy Wright. I've featured her in our magazine twice, and I love her work. And she's always telling me, you'll love it, Dion, you'll love it. And, of course, I use watercolor. I just do it in big scale, right? Like, I do it on a five-foot canvas. And uh, so right now I'm just using this light blue and... So I found Beam because they were in a book that I was reading this summer. And um, I really loved their philosophy for their business. And I'm always attracted to small businesses that have a strong philosophy for, for repurposing and using natural. Of course, you know, when you recycle furniture. Mm -hmm. That's a big, a big love of mine. Can they see everything I'm doing, babe? Does it look okay, or do do I need to do anything? Do I need to adjust, Matt? Do I need to adjust? No, everything looks really good. I mean, the only thing I could think of is if you want to move everything to your right a little bit. But this side? Yeah, I mean, where you're painting is mm -hmm. kind of left, is center left. Oh, well, you but, should have told me. Well, I mean, it, it's okay. I had to flip it's my okay. camera. It's okay. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, I like the way that dark blue went in with the green. So if you're just popping on, I have these little um, beam paints. They're pieces of wood, and they use those as their color, the wells. And then I just love their little palettes. And you can get different colors. This one actually has a metallic gold in it. Did I line it up a little bit better, Matt? Yeah. No, it's, it's, okay. it's more center, yes. Okay. Great. I'm just playing. Mary Singer Design says watercolors are, are her new jam. Oh, wow. This is new for me, but I've asked everyone in my group and for the month of August to practice something. Like my Michelle is practicing faces. Um, yeah, a lot of the ladies are practicing faces, and I'm not there yet. I admire them. I've done some faces before, um, but I'm, I'm not quite, especially I'm not as good as my Michelle. She's really good at at faces. It's a different angle. We've never really worked with this before. I know. I thought this might be fun. Can they see? Yeah, no. I mean, I'm kind of vulnerable here, guys, because I I don't watercolor. This is really new to me. So I just didn't feel like painting on furniture. And I'm I'm a little tired. I got all those hats ready. We launched our hats today and I worked yesterday on them. I'm just kind of tired, but I also wanted to paint. So I just thought, well, let's just join. Let's, let's have them join us. We had a great anniversary weekend. We watched a great movie last night, Matt. What was the name of that? The Gray Man? Mm-hmm. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Good movie. Mm-hmm. It was a little violent. It was a little violent, not going to lie. 
you don't like violence. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a uh, roller coaster ride. We shouldn't have there. watched it right before bed. I think it kept Matt and I both up, but it was so good. He's so funny. Judith Kennedy, Hi. I hope I said that right, um, says Bean Beam Paints mm -hmm. now has paint acrylic. Oh, I didn't even know that. So it sounds like they're going and growing. I'm just using their watercolors. Rob's got a good question on this journal, honey. Yeah. Rob says, how does the journal withstand against the watercolor any bleed through question mark? Oh no, look, this is this is the, my sunflower page that I did in the back of it. I did it in a video. Um, so this is like the eighth, this is the eighth page and all my journals are have the same page. So the ones that I sell on my website, they all have the same paper. I just ordered one in a super large size. We have, we've got some people over there on, on the YouTubes, and um, mm -hmm. Tanette's the only one talking to you tonight, honey. Aw, Tanette, <laughs> I'm so glad you're there. Uh, Sarah says, they have a gold paint perfect for you, Dion Woods. Beam does? I think. Yeah, they do. This gold is in here. And with all these beautiful colors, they have a gold. Uh, Tammy has a question. What you? How do you decide where the highlight is placed and what the paper weight for watercolors? I'm learning, Tammy. This is I'm. This is all new to me. So, so I'm you're just you're playing right now, is what you're. Saying. Oh yeah, I am. My challenge to my group, my membership group this month, is to practice. And that's what I'm doing because I'm very unfamiliar with this. But I love so far what I'm doing. So if you'll see that I'm actually putting a thinner line of a deep navy underneath the brighter. And then I'm touching the center of the leaf with a light blue. That's causing a little bit of a glow in the center of these leaves. We got Betty on both now. We got her on Facebook and YouTube. Well, Betty, that's loyalty right there. So I'm just kind of playing, you know, that's kind of how we learn. I, I feel like, okay, I don't have to do it right. I just have to do it and then I'll learn. Lise Dixon, she's over there on the tubes now. Hey, sister. Hello, BJ Wheeler. So I'm just Napa, playing. Idaho. But I'm going to do some flowers here in a minute, I think. I'm just kind of getting some practice in my leaf work. We did on um, Flowers and Friends on the Bloom Talk Show. I do a weekly talk show um, for Bloom with my co-hosts, and we have guests on. And we had a we've had a watercolor artist on. And did you get inspired? I got so I just had so much fun. Her book, she's Christy Rice. And she's on YouTube, and she she teaches a lot of um, watercolor on YouTube. And um, she ha I have a book right here. And although I haven't gone through the book and done any of her tutorials, I'm one of those weird people that just like to learn on my own. <laughs> you, I mean, like, you would do be watch a, people, though. I mean, you kind of get it. It would be a lot easier if I would just, like, follow her tutorials. Because I noticed how talented she is, and she's just, I love her philosophy, too. So, see, Matt, I'm just kind of framing it with a darker color, and then I'm going to drop some water on it. So, what would be the reason to frame it? I mean, what's... To make it look more natural. Just, Okay. See, how, you know how you have a leaf that, that's darker around the edges? Just like I shadow my pieces of furniture. Shelly Ross, the Flowers and Friends episode was so much fun. Thank you, Shelly. How are you, dear? Uh, Betty says the journals look awesome. Oh, She said they're perfect for this. Thank you, Betty. Do you feel like it's a good application? Yep, I do. So these are the ones I did when we were down on vacation, honey, when I was um, downstairs just kind of painting. I did this little color swatches and that was a lot of fun. We have a lot of very knowledgeable people out there about watercolors and paperweight and all kinds of stuff. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, it is big time. So this was the tutorial I did with Christy Rice. She's on YouTube and this was on the flower and friends talk show. Yeah, actually, she taught us to do one, and I just kept going because I was having so much fun. And then this one I did by myself. This was my first sunflowers, which I see a ton of different of things I would do differently. 
Um, so I'm not really sure what's coming next, but I love the blue with the greens. Now, is it, is it something where you take it over into the next page as well on the other side of the? I could. I, I didn't could. know how that worked. I, I could if, if I wanted. Was... There's plenty of weight. Like I could paint on both sides of these papers for sure. Uh, Tasha would like to know what is the size of the journal you're working on right now? Hmm. I would say it's an eight by 12. I'm not sure. The ones I have are eight by six that I sell on my website. I just happen to be out of all of them right now. But I have 26 ready to go this week. So if you're interested in one of these journals, that's eight by six. Um, I will have more available on my website Friday. Eight, I have 26 of them coming. But I hand paint on each one of them, so I want to customize each one to be unique. And we have these beautiful gift boxes. Did we show the gift boxes, Matt? We did. We showed them on here, mm -hmm. how pretty they were? Yep. Okay. okay. So each journal will go inside a gift box. I think you should do what looks to me like just wildflowers because the grass reminds me of just, you know, something in the, you would see. You know, I think I should just do kind of a wildflower. What color? Purple. Purple. I don't paint purple. Yellow. No. Red. Yeah, let's do that. Black. Gray. Well, I don't really follow the rules. Like there are certain rules, but you can see that I'm really not following any rules. I've heard enough and to know there are some rules that you could. Kathy Buckley says, oh, where do you sell the journals? I couldn't find them on your website. Well, at the turquoiseiris.com, they would be under merchandise. So when you click merchandise, I have journals and hats, but the journals are currently sold out, but you can see all of the ones I've done. So if you go there to merchandise and scroll up. Everybody wants you, want, wants you to do, um, they want me to call it lavender instead of purple. Oh, I could do lavender. I like <laughs> lavender. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like purple. Okay, so note to self, don't use purple. Use the word lavender. Yeah, but okay. just to answer her question, um, they'll be under merchandise on Friday and I'll have 26 more journals. Uh, Nancy says, did you wet the paper before you started? No, I know people do that. That's just not what I've done tonight. Why would you do that? Um, it's, well, I'll just show you, honey. Okay. I'll just show you. It's That's a fine. different technique. Okay. So you, you would take water and like put water right here. You just kind of paint. You're basically just painting water onto it. Okay. Right? So this is just another way people yep. do watercolor. Yep. Okay. Yep. So once you get it wet, then you just what, add color to it? Yep. Oh. It's a different look, but watch it. Boom. Oh. Oh, that's cool. But it contains it where the water is. Oh, so it's, you're kind of like tracing. It's containing it right where the water is. Oh, that's cool. So you trace. It's like tracing almost before you apply the paint. Okay, if you say so. I haven't thought of it like that. Well, I mean, you're 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 doing a design, right? I well, yeah. I'm like I said, baby. I'm learning. Uh, Tanette says light and dark lavender. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Yeah, because look, this color here on this palette that I bought, look, this this is a really pretty lavender, and I could mix all of this to create something really pretty. But I wanted to show him that, so now we have a random red flower, so we're just going to have to deal. Won't we, babe? Yes. <laughs> I like it, though. I like random. I am kind of random. I'm going to just do like a little line. Tasha, how are the pages bound in the journal? I need some custom ones with about six to eight pages for my furniture books. Oh, well, Tasha, I want to, you, they're bound, they're sewn together, but if you might have missed our, um, Jane Vellante came into the group, into the Creative Connection, and she showed us how to make our own paper journal. So if you're only needing eight pages, 
she showed us in our group because um, I hired her as one of our guests to come in and we used acrylic inks and you can just tie your ribbon around this and this would be an easy way for you to make your journal journal like we talked about on our calls right so this was just some watercolor paper and she showed us how to sew it together with wax thread and that tutorial is in our group if you just put in jane's name it will come up it was last month just a few weeks ago she was in there so you might if, if you missed that i would love you to go back and watch jane is so talented and she helped us make our own books I love the magic of the wet technique. The way the water moves, it's mesmerizing, says Kathleen Nolan. Kathleen, you're right. That was pretty cool, I have to admit. Betty says uh, she made some books with her uh, with her kids many years ago. Aw. Well, let's make another one. Ready? Did Tasha reply? I don't know if she saw that. Um, not yet. If she saw our tutorial or not. Derek liked it with like how you're doing it now. It was pretty cool. It's just pretty neat. It looks really neat on camera. <laughs> well, it's funny, you know, when you don't know the rules, you just do stuff. So I don't know if this is right. And if I'm making anyone cringe, I do apologize. Um, but I think this is this is how I learned the best is just by doing and playing. Uh, she said she did not see it, but she'll go back and look. Okay, dear. I just wanted you to know that was there and she can show you how to sew the pages. Of, if you just have any type of watercolor paper or even an acrylic paper, um, it was really good. And I, she's so talented and so helpful. And I'd never done that, so she walked me through it. Cool. I like learning something new. I Look know at this do. orange. Boop. Let's put some orange in there because we can. You like? Mm -hmm. You want to play, don't you? Mm -mm. Yes, you do. Mm -mm. <laughs> so let's do. Let's try. Now, again, if you're wondering what brush I'm using, this is my round, ten, or an eight round from the Turquoise Cyrus Pro collection. And I'm going to put one right here, a small one. I have to be careful. Michelle knows how to watercolor. She could teach me all kinds of things. Maybe you should get her on here live. You try. I've tried. Tasha wants me to give it a shot. Give it a go. He would be better than me at it. I don't think sure. so. Yeah, I think you would, no. baby. See, it's you see how it's free flow, and then like like Christy was telling me, she's like, Dion, you already do this on your furniture. She thought that I would be really good at it, but it was intimidating. I'm gonna try some of this baby pink. It's like a, it's like a cotton candy pink. Uh, Dana Griffiths. Yeah. Hi, what Dana. is the cover for the journal made of? Uh, this particular journals, this is leather. The ones that I sell, I hand paint on the on the leather. Lisa Dixon would like for me to paint for her so we could break the internet tonight. Ooh, <laughs> we're going to have to plan for that, Lisa. I'm going to go buy me a watercoloring book. Well, I'll get you one, honey. You know, it's like paint by number. <sighs> and I'll get it done. No, you could look at this tutorial. Look at this book, though. It's She has 48 tutorials, and I haven't, I haven't done one of them yet. Free Spirited Watercolor by Christy Rice. She's on um, YouTube. And she sent this book to me because I'm a host for the flower show. And... um. Okay, this is nice. Is this fun? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is so fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good night, Jeanette. Oh, good night, T. I love you. Good night, friend. 
Okay, so let's do some pink. I don't know no. what flower this is. It doesn't really have a name, but it's just wall. It's, it's wall just flower. wallflower. It's wallflower. Uh, Rob would like to know if you could post a link for the book. I don't have a link, I don't think. Oh. oh. Um, yeah. It's Christy Rice. Free spirit. Take a screenshot right now, Rob, because um, I'm afraid I'll forget when I get off. <clears throat> or you could message me. Kind of hard to read because the gold. Oh, really? Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, oh, yeah, closer to, yeah, right there. Uh, no, back towards you. Belly, belly. Yeah, that's right, good. Uh, Betty says, Matt, maybe Michelle will if you do. Mm -hmm. if, if, I, if, if, if that's what needs to happen, I'll get it done. <laughs> well, that we, we launched hats today, guys. So we have, I think we have five or six, four, four or five still available. Uh, fall and summer hats. Um, what else? I have journals coming out on Friday that are made out of the same paper. Lisa um, Black says, looks like parrot tulips. Oh, that just sounds pretty, doesn't it? Um, what else? Oh, the journal. You guys have been ordering and pre-ordering. Getting those in. Uh, so we have an idea of how many we're going to order for the fall. So it's really been helpful. Thank you. A certain someone that might be on the cover. His name ends with more. Hmm? No, ends. Starts with more. Yeah, ends with Matt. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. This is fun. I can see why people get addicted to this whole watercolor thing. Do you find yourself at peace right now? Yeah, I like this. Maybe, it's a lot easier than painting a piece of furniture. Maybe, maybe like a soft, like uh, maybe some uh, music, soft music playing in the background with some essential oils. Oh, like incense or something. Well, sure, that sounds lovely. Yeah. Uh, Lori Bayer says, I've been painting watercolor for a while and I think it's so hard. You're doing a beautiful job. Oh, thank you. I. I'm new here, so I appreciate that. I don't have any expectations. I'm not looking at a picture or anything. I'm just seeing what the water does. So I think that's easier when you have zero expectations on yourself. I think so, too. And I think that's a it's a great way to start with no expectations, right? Yeah, I'm honestly just really impressed with the pigmentation of these. Because I used my, I mean, not that I don't want to knock my Monet's Garden, because I got these in the gift shop at Monet's Garden. But is there's these are definitely not like this. Rohini wants me to go get my git fiddle and play it for you while you're painting. Ooh, yes, Rose. Now you're talking. Cheryl Rose says, great job. I'd definitely be getting one of your awesome journals on Friday. Oh, thank you so much. Sherry Rose. I've got new ones. I've got a new color I haven't had before, too. So thank you for that. And then they're all going to be packaged in our beautiful boxes. And the boxes are covered in one of my peony prints. <coughs> I'm just playing. I don't even know how long it's been, babe. Am I boring everybody, do you think? I don't think so. I think our heat and air, I think our air conditioning unit's having a little struggle today. All right, now what? Should I just do some more? I'll do some more green. That was really fun. So this particular green is a dark emerald. And the wells, I'm not sure how deep the well goes. I'm not really sure how deep they are, but... Um, Oh, it's called pine green. Hello, the color. Pine green. <laughs> Hello. There it is. There it is.
Very wispy. I'm a wispy kind of girl, baby. You are a wispy kind of gal. Yeah, I like wispy. I like lots of movement. Uh, Mary Marielle Miller says, no, I love watching and listening to Matt. Oh, well, y'all are so sweet. Y'all are so sweet. When we first started doing this, some people would say things like, who's the guy talking? I think they would just not be very nice. And um, I kept explaining to Matt that I didn't care because I really needed him on here with me. It was just, I needed him. Uh, Laura Maldonado, there is, there was a time where the only thing I painted was watercolors. Oh, Laura, you must be cringing watching me right now. Oh my <laughs> gosh. She's going, what is she doing? Yeah, she's like, oh, she's breaking all the Stop. rules. Um, uh, just for the convenience of it. I could take them in my luggage when I traveled without worry of spillage. Well, that's the main thing. And I think I was explaining to Matt because Matt goes, is anybody really watercolor? And I'm like, oh, yes, honey. Definitely. I, you know, I just thought did that as a kid. I did it when I was a kid. But honey, you know me. I'm a finger painter. So I'm definitely going to. No, 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 no. I, I, it's, I just, you know, I don't think about it, I guess. You know, I'm not in that world. You would think I would, right? But no. Well, Magnolia has Helen Daltrey on. And I remember I had you watch Helen Daltrey show that time. She's a watercolor artist. She uses mostly gouache, but it's a it's a form of watercolor. It's just a little bit different paint. She's incredible. I just wanted something different tonight. I'm going to finish that blue buffet this week with you guys, but I wanted something a little bit different. I needed something a little different. I need to take a class with Laura Maldonado. I think, yeah. Okay. Right, right. I need to have her on here. I, I will definitely bring my, my uh, paint by number book and we'll have fun. Yeah. Shero says, as a calligrapher, mm -hmm. I see you have a natural calli calligraphic hand. Really? That's what she said. Oh, my God. That's like one of the best compliments, I think, because calligraphy just sounds extremely inti intimidating to me. Really intimidating. Man, that's like a bucket list thing. One of those like, oh, no, that's for other people. That's not for me. You know calligraphy, right, honey? Yes, that's the real fancy writing. <laughs> yeah, the real fancy writing. That's right. You're welcome, Mary. My pleasure. Colleen Nolan, I've always wanted to try watercolor painting. Well, Colleen, let's just give it a go. Well, that's what we're doing this month in the Creative Connection. I've challenged you all to just try something and practice at it, whatever it is. Some of it, some of the ladies are saying, well, I just need to practice discipline. I need to practice putting myself on a schedule. I need to practice all kinds of different things, but I'm practicing watercolor. giving myself some grace because I don't know any rules. Derek says, pretty impressive looking, Dion. Hey, Derek. Thank you, bud. The kids loved the little figurine you gave us. They did? Yeah, the kids were like, what is this? I told them that it was a gift. They were pretty impressed. These are beam paint, B-E-A-M. So they're all natural pigmentation. There's only three ingredients in them. They're highly pigmented, which is why they are pricier. They um, are much different than the paint you're gonna see in a well like this. Um, they use all natural materials and they make everything there um, on location too. Desiree Herska. Hi, Des. She says, in art, the rules, in quotes, are just really suggestions. They'll have to be because I just can't seem to ever follow any of them. <laughs> right? does i mean i'm just kind of i've always been one of those that just has to find my own way with art 
I'm putting some orange highlights. Sweetheart, what time is it? I don't want to keep anybody too late. Um, it is 916. Mm -hmm. Okay. Diane says it's beautiful, Dion. Oh, thank you for making me feel good. It's a little intimidating painting something for, for the first time in front of people. But. Mary says gorgeous. I mean, that's just Laura Maldonado. Right? Picasso used to say, learn the rules so you can break them. Absolutely. <laughs> that's true. Desiree says, it's the person who makes the art, not the paints and tools. Just makes it a little easier, maybe. Mary's loving this, Dion. Aw, thank you. I'm having fun, and I that's just that's what I needed. I went swimming yesterday. I watercolored with you all. We went driving in Roxy twice this weekend. I have had a great weekend, and I'm finishing it with you all watercoloring. So, look at these flowers. Aren't they fun? So I'm going to flip it over so you guys can see. It does not bleed through. Can y'all see that? Um, waiting. It's kind of lagging a little bit, but oh, yep. Yeah. You can see it. Okay, cool. No bleed through. No bleed through. And this brush is nice. Meg says beautiful. So vivid says Diane Locke. Thank you. Uh, where would you purchase these paints, Dion? So I ordered these off their website. I found them online on Instagram, beampaints.com. And I, to be honest with you, if you're not familiar with paying this for watercolors, you might want to know more about their story and their quality. Um, the story behind the brand um, is, a written, this is why I tell the people I teach and coach to tell their story because I actually fell in love with the owner's story before I even opened up the website to buy the paints. I fell in love with her story in a book and I decided, wait, I want to support this woman. And um, I just went straight to the website and picked up my colors and ordered them because she was willing to tell her story and why she's making paints. She learned them from her. She learned how to make paint from her dad and her mom. And it was just something that was kind of I don't know, it just struck a chord with me in my heart. And that's why I tell people to tell their story. Because if I can buy paint from somebody, if I have two people standing beside each other and I know one person's story and I don't know the other person's story, depending, I guess, on the story, <laughs> well, I guess we should keep that in mind, what kind of, what kind of person they are. Um, I'm going to choose the person that I've learned something about that has been vulnerable and shared her story with me over the person who I don't know a thing about. That's human nature. We want to support each other, don't we? That's just who, that's how we are. Jennifer Miller says, I love your flow. Beautiful. Definitely makes me feel like this is my next adventure. Oh, isn't this fun? Look Kelly at says, hi, just jumped on. I love your flowers. Can you post a link to subscription? So when you say I post a link to the subscription, do you, do you, tell me what you mean as far as, um, do you mean the paint that I'm using? Because I'm not following any kind of um, tutorial or anything. I'm just doing this kind of on my own. But I'll post anything for you if I can help. I'm just unsure on what I need to get for you. Meaning to order your magazine. Oh, absolutely. My magazine. I apologize. Um, if Michelle's on here, if she's still on here, we'll get Michelle to post it. But if, if she's gone, I just want you to know that you can go to the turquoiseirisjournal.com. And if you'll get your subscription before tomorrow, it would be really helpful. <laughs> I say that because um, 
August 15th is our two year anniversary. And um, it's gonna give us a really good idea how many we're gonna order for the fall for those of you that go ahead and order by tomorrow. They got Shelly Ross got posted for you. Thank you, Shelly. Carolyn S. Marsh says hello from Crossville, Tennessee. I Hi. hardly ever get to catch the lives. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. I started at 830 and I'm probably going to be signing off here in just a minute. I'm doing watercolors for the first time. I know that Shelly's been doing watercolor too. Kath Keat says hello. Hi, Kath. What have you been up to, girl? Kelly Morgan says I'll do it right now. Oh, I am so grateful for you guys. Thank you. My team has been working for six months getting all of this ready for you all. And it makes my heart swell just knowing that our magazine's going to be all across the country and in other countries and Canada. It's just. Yes, Diane, she's using water, watercolors. Doing something a little different. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Maybe um, I'll read through the comments, and if it's if you guys like this, let's let's do this again sometime. Do you like the overhead view? Let me know if you like the overhead. Caroline says, "Looks awfully good for a first time youngin." Thank you, <laughs> thank you. I love that youngin. That there, that's that there right there. I like Tennessee. I like being called young, and that's nice. <laughs> this forty-six year old's like yes. Uh, Shelly has been having a laugh. Uh, Dana Locks says, thank you for the shout out. Love you both. Yes, thank you, sweetie. Love the overhead view, Shelly says. Just Googled Beam Paint, and they are from my neck of the world in Ontario. Okay. Yes, like the overhead view. It's lovely, so inspiring. Thank you. Very interesting, Dion. Thank you. Maria Miller says, you made my night better. My mama had surgery today, and she's doing good. Oh, Mary, I'm so happy to know your mom's doing well. Lisa says it's been fun. Let's do it again for sure, is what she said. Okay. Well, then we shall, okay? This is one of those where I'm like, when do, when do I stop? Do I keep picking? <laughs> uh, Diane says it's very, it is refreshing with everything going on. Dion, you share so much. With us, have enjoyed the Bloom TV. Oh, thank you for watching Bloom TV. I, I'm learning so much. And we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing like my own little pilot show. It's a, not a pilot, but one, one, one episode. And they're going to come here and they're going to film. So that's some exciting stuff coming up. Judy Brayman says, this has been a fun evening. Doing so well. Hello from Ontario, Canada. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here and that you're enjoying this as well. I think the flowers are my favorite. I know I keep picking at them. You guys, thank you so much. I will be here again on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to see if I can get my phone out. Woo! Did it flip me upside down? Whoop, whoop. All right, you guys. I love you all. Have a great afternoon, uh, evening, and Monday, and I'll see you on Wednesday. See ya. See ya.